So just as a quick recap before we jump into things, what we learned was was that on June the 9th, 2024, that there was a method for gaining user and kernel level code execution in system OS. Now it said that it is likely to be patched soon in the next system update. And what we learned how Microsoft combated this was they just decided to take that game script out 100% out of the store. So in the very latest update, it's still there, but you would need to install the game script app. And obviously with it being taken out of the store, well, there isn't any really good way to load it onto your Xbox One. Now, we saw that they provided some instructions of what you would need to do, and that myself and then a bunch of other YouTubers went ahead and created a bunch of guides for doing this. Back to today, that is no longer something that you can do, because again, GameScript is no longer in the App Store. We also learned that you didn't really need this device microcontroller, because you could download an app from the App Store that already had copy and paste functionality. So you could just put the proof of concept code as a text file on a USB drive and then be able to insert in that into your Xbox One and be able to copy and paste from there. Now, it was mentioned down here at the bottom, the actual exploit author. And so from there, we started monitoring their Twitter account. And what we learned from their account was, was that they had stated that this is not a jailbreak, that system OS is the virtual machine where the apps run, and that the exploit author stated that it will not allow piracy. Obviously, there's parts of that that I believe aren't necessarily true, especially with what I know you can do with dev mode. But hey, what do I know? And they provided this script right here which would basically let you go ahead and run this on your own device. They stated that there is a couple of parts to this, but the difficulty at the moment was KASLR, and that stands for Kernel Address Space Layout Randomization. I'm not even pretending to know the details here. And then right about that time, as I was monitoring other threads that they were in, they had mentioned for people interested in using the technique described in the blog post, I was told to relay the following. Basically, Warhammer, Vermintide 2, any edition, digital or disk space might also work, which is why I was recommending folks check it out back on June the 13th of 2024. Which, if you go to this URL right here, you will see that basically the only reason you needed that game disk was to dump games on a retail. Now, there's tons of people that, again, are stating, you know, how can you even dump games on Xbox One when disc-based games don't have the whole game on the disc? And that was obviously quite a bit of a concern for Vermintide 2 because we didn't know what will happen once we put that disc into our Xbox One. And that's obviously what I will show you in just a second. Now, going back to the original story, if we go and check out Emma's Twitter, we can see that on June the 20th, 2024, she wrote back and said that KASLR is no longer an issue. And now we're back to being able to leak object address and shared this picture of progress. Now, I've been monitoring this person's account and I haven't seen anything that has been at least in the recent tweets relating uh, to this, a bunch of other things, but not relating to this. But this obviously is the person that we are waiting on in order to update that POC. Now, going back to that POC, there is pretty much all the time activity that's been going on. Now, don't let this confuse you. When this says last active 11 hours, it's typically because the comment section is going absolutely crazy. But if you do see this shell code return value of 1337, then that obviously means that it is working. Now, with that kind of mini update out of the way, let's go ahead and let's see what happens with that Vermintide 2 disk on an Xbox One. Okay, so here it is. I bought this game and I was going to go ahead and put this into my Xbox One because there is a number of people 
that are saying that the full game isn't included on the disc. So let's find out. So let's see what is in this thing. I'm sure a bunch of you has been waiting to open this disc, mainly because there is a ton of value uh, if you keep it sealed. But I went ahead and opened my disc up for all of you to see there is just the game disc inside. There isn't anything else. So let's go ahead and pop this into the Xbox One. Okay, so I just powered up my Xbox One that's pretty much been sitting in a closet since I installed GameScript and a few of these other applications that was needed to kind of get this system ready for hopefully a very cool vulnerability. So let's first off just double check GameScript is still there and is still active and running. So there it is. It is still working, at least on my machine here. Now I'm going to head back to the home. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in my Xbox here. Let's go over to the installing. And this is a pretty big disk. It looks like there is 39.56 gigabytes that is on there. And then the downloadable content, very cool, is actually on the disk as well. It has queued there. so. There's the rest of that downloadable content. I did buy the deluxe edition. The game installed as well as the downloadable content. So I'm just going to go ahead and try to launch the game here. Okay, there you go. We are at the title screen. Again, a completely offline connected machine. We're going to take the option here to go offline. And now we're going to go to start game. I had absolutely no clue that this was a first person shooter, but I will say that I actually might play this game now because it actually looks pretty fun. So anyway, the game absolutely runs without any problem whatsoever in an offline scenario so yeah i just kind of want to wrap up this video with if you do have the disc version obviously if you put that inside of your console the full game is actually on it even including the downloadable content so for now we're really still just in a waiting period it seems like there's been quite a bit of progress made but still pretty early just to tell Anyway, thank you so very much for watching this video, and don't forget to give a like on this video if you liked it, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next one, Michael. Ow!